So right along in Rebecca's 2013 Mazda Speed 3. So um, basically, like I said, we're already done with the cinematics as well as the interview. So if you guys haven't caught those two parts, go ahead and watch it first. Um, most of the questions of what's been done to this car is already in the previous video. But for this video, the main objective is to capture some exhaust clips, blow valve, turbos, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, how, do you know how many pounds of boost is pushing right now? Uh, I think the last time was 23, 23. if I'm right. Nice. And uh, I heard it has an upgraded bigger turbo on it. Um, do you know how much bigger, the, or what size the turbo is? It's Any the, idea? the 37, 30, 3076. 3076, okay, mm -hmm. nice. How many pounds of, so stock internals for now? Or is it fully built internals? No, stock. Stock, mm -hmm. okay. So with the stock bottom end, any clue like how much power you can push, you know, without blowing the motor? Mm -mm. Not really? Okay. So for now, she's trying to make the car her own. Are you trying to do more, you say cosmetic stuff, and then for power-wise, are you pretty happy? Are you trying to shoot for a bigger number? Oh, I'm going for a bigger number. Bigger number? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So this thing currently makes about, you say, three, probably 350 to 400 wheel horsepower. We think, yeah. So... Um, I'll get it done and see what exact numbers it's running on. Okay. And then, uh, actually... Wastegate sounds obnoxious. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what kind of wastegate? Any idea? Ah, oh, top of my head, no. No, but it's the sound good. Straight here, I'm gonna turn here. Yeah, we'll go straight. <laughs> Bingo back there needs an upgraded wastegate. <laughs> <laughs> boost really hit? Um, if I am... Uh, no. I don't want to give you wrong information. It goes for you. So yeah, it looks, looks like it hit pretty high up because I didn't really exactly see. If but I'm right, it's like at 4, four. but I don't want to give you like, yeah. Okay, yeah, it looked like 445, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then pulls pretty hard until... What's the red line on it? Can you see? It's a little 6 over like... Oh, a little above 7, like 6. A little right there. Okay. Yeah, Pulls pretty hard to, yeah. to almost rate line. That's pretty cool. So you said you had a Mazda Speed 3 as well before this one. So what's the main big difference? I, besides mm -hmm. the big power, I guess. Difference? No. <laughs> oh. I mean, everything, honestly. I mean, you know, I don't know. Do you miss your old Speed 3? Speed I do. 3? I do. I really do. It was my first standard car I like, owned. Black and had it for four years so nice i had a lot of high school fun with that one this one kind of i guess it's pretty much the same car so yeah but pulls way different <laughs> oh so much different <laughs> how much power was that one making that was just my other one was just stock okay all stock. i had it was a little cute exhaust <laughs> that's all i had but yeah, and one thing with the Mazda Speed 3s, uh, they're pretty notorious for uh, torque steer. So whenever the boost hits, I can kind of feel a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much power before it really like pull, yanks your side. But I, if I'm not wrong, I think it's like anything like 350 and up, it pull, it really yanks you to the side. Yeah, it does. Like so that. yeah, so I'm having to be really, really careful and like grab her because she'll pull you. <laughs> so. Highway now, trying to find some empty stretch, do a couple of pulls. So right now, I'll just pretty much, I'll keep quiet and I'll just film the turbo flutter ball valve sounds for you guys to hear.
Back in the Mazda Speed 3, letting my brother feel a couple pulls later. 